All right, Kaylee, show us how to do a wall walk. Okay. Like this? Yep. Just like that. <laughs> and that is how you do a Spider-Man wall walk. <laughs> Hey athletes, welcome to your at-home workout for Wednesday, May 6th. I'm Coach Levi. We have our guest demo, Kaylee. Hi. Staying with us this week. Thanks for all your help this week. Of she is going to demo the movements for us. But we'll get started with our warm-up, which is going to be eight minutes smooth. So go ahead and start an eight-minute clock, and you're just going to do the following movements repeated for that full eight minutes. The first is 15 jumping jacks. Taking you back to... Elementary school gym class, yep. right? <laughs> All right, 15 jumping jacks. Then we're gonna grab some light dumbbells, some cans of beans, some rolls of toilet paper, light weights, whatever you got. We're gonna do 10 alternating pullbacks. This is like a bent row position. And then you're just bringing those arms up and back one at a time, 10 alternating. So five each side, okay, from the side. Now she keeps her arms straight, brings them up and back. There's no bend to the elbow. This is not a tricep kickback. You should just feel this kind of in the lat right there. So 10 alternating pullbacks. Then you're going to go down into a pike. Do 10 alternating pike shoulder taps. You can make this easier or more difficult depending on where your feet are at. I'm trying to get it inverted. But again, you can do this in a plank position as well, or you can elevate up to a chair or something like that to do uh, shoulder taps there. And then from there, you'll finish with a 30 second plank. So we've got up on the hands, we can go down to the elbows. We can do a off our knee plank, anything like that for 30 seconds. Again, that's also, we can elevate um, just to make sure that we can do a full 30 seconds there. So 15 jumping jacks, 10 alternating pullbacks, 10 alternating pike shoulder taps, and a 30 second plank. Doing that for eight minutes straight. That's your warm up. Let's get into our workout. Today's workout is called Wedding March. It is one time through for time. The first movement is going to be 10 wall walks or a 200 meter double dumbbell waiter carry. So two dumbbells overhead and 200 meter carry. So um, if you know what 200 meters is, you can go out 100 meters, come back 100 meters if you've got that measured out. Otherwise for our 100 meters, we've been doing about 120, 130 steps. So just double that, okay? Double overhead waders carry. Remember to keep your ribs down. You should stay braced, especially if you're doing something heavy and keep those arms right up overhead. We will get to the wall walks if we're gonna do those rather than the waders carry at the end of the video. The next thing is 30 overhead walking lunges. So this is single dumbbell overhead and you can alternate halfway through after 15. It is just walking lunges, keeping that overhead. Same thing, notice Kaylee's not arching back. She's staying nice and vertical in her walking lunges. These can be lunges in place as well, or what we do if it's a little too heavy to do overhead? Yeah, uh, no, if it's too heavy, we can put it on rack position. Yeah, so front rack position uh, if we can't keep that overhead. 30 overhead walking lunges. Again, we can scale those to front stepping or back stepping lunges if needed. Next thing, we're gonna take our friend, this dumbbell, put it on the ground, 60 burpees over objects. So we're gonna do burpees over the dumbbell. So down, up, and rather than a hop at the top, it's a hop over. So you don't have to worry about the jump at the top, it is a single jump over. These can be, again, scaled back to bodybuilders with a hop over or bodybuilders with a step over or even elevated bodybuilders with a step over. Then we'll just work our way back down that ladder, 30 more overhead walking lunges and then another 200 meter double dumbbell waiter carry or 10 wall walks. So let's go over the wall yeah. and down with some wall walks. All right, Kaylee, ready to show some wall walks? Yep. All right, so uh, if you can't do it the way Kaylee did at the beginning in our intro, I know that's a little <laughs> advanced technique. You gotta get some through time. the basics first. She practiced that a lot. Um, what we're gonna do is lay face down on the floor hands right next to your shoulders. You're going to do a push up and at the same time with one foot, take a big step back up onto the wall and bring the other foot up. Now from here, your feet are going to walk up the wall while you walk your hands in. Our goal is to go as far as we can. We can scale this 
but Kaylee's able to get all the way up against the wall and then walk it back out. And as she comes out, she's gonna walk her feet down the wall so that they don't slip off, right? All the way down to the floor, back down to a lay down position. Now for our workout, we have prescribed 10 wall walks at the beginning, 10 wall walks at the end. Um, this is supposed to take probably three-ish minutes. Um, same amount of time as that 200 meter overhead waiter carry, so maybe even a little bit longer than that, maybe two and a half to four minutes. Um, so if you want to work on wall walks, you can always scale the reps back <coughs> to eight or five, or you can scale them up to 15 um, if you've got a really good um, wall walk. Uh, other than that, that is the wall walk. That's our workout today, you guys. It is just one time through for time. So I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, let's get to the cool down. Oh, I had to sneeze. I was like right in the middle of you talking. I was like, no. For our cool down today, we've got two stretches you're gonna do a minute each side of. The first is gonna be a couch stretch, which is not laying out on the couch and stretching. You do that at the very end. That one goes to Kaylee, credit for that one. It is, you can put your foot up against the couch, up against the wall, we're using a box here. This is a hip flexor stretch here, stretching out that quad. So just hanging out there for a minute on each side. And really let that sink in. Ideally, you should do it a little bit longer than that. Um, right. But for the sake of the class, we're just saying a minute each side. And the last is chest opener. So face down towards the floor, put one arm out. Yep, and you're just gonna stretch so go ahead and put that outstretched arm on the floor. Okay, wait, we have to. Yep, like that, and then go like up and away. So something like this. There we go, that's what Get that arm out, get that shoulder to the okay, floor. Like... Good, so just opening the chest there, hang out down there, a minute each side. And that's it guys. I would roll out your shoulders a little bit. I know they're probably tired after the past couple days, so get a lacrosse ball in there, work all the way through. If you've got something, if you have a barbell, take it, lay down on the floor and roll it across the front of your shoulder and chest as well. That's it, thanks Kaylee. Thank you. Good work guys, we'll see you tomorrow.